Ghostbusters Quarantine Corner. Good morning, Torb Cardinals, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Foster's Quarantine Corner. Today is Thursday, May 28th. Uh, just a reminder that lunches will continue to be served throughout the summer. Uh, if you need assistance in getting the lunches, please contact the school office. All right. The joke of the day is from Emily N. in sixth grade. She asks, how do you know when the train went through? You can tell by looking at its tracks. Good one, Emily. That was a real knee slapper. All right, our fun fact of the day is from Mrs. Jocks. Did you know that on October 18th, 1963, the first and only cat was flown into outer space? Very cool. All right, and sticking with our space exploration uh, theme today, uh, we have an adventure in quarantine that we'd like to show you from Teresa in fifth grade. Uh, she took on Mrs. Millirons Oreo Moonface Challenge and had a lot of fun with it. Congratulations, Teresa. Well done. All right. In our episode today, Mrs. Milliron is back to teach us all about the phases of the moon and explain a little bit about the demonstration that Teresa just showed us. Check it out. Mr. Foster's Quarantine Corner, take five. Hi, Cardinals. One of my favorite science units to teach is on the phases of the moon, but I didn't get to teach that one this year. Um, and so I'm going to read a book that I usually read to my students called Papa, Please Get the Moon for Me. This is a fiction story, but some of the concepts we can turn around and we can turn it into a true story and learn about the real phases of the moon and why it seems to change sizes. Before Monica went to bed, <clears throat> she looked out of her window and saw the moon. The moon looked so near. I wish I could play with the moon, thought Monica, and reached for it. But no matter how much she stretched, she could not touch the moon. Papa said Monica to her father, Papa, please get the moon for me. Papa got a very long ladder. He carried the very long ladder towards a very high mountain. And then Papa put the very long ladder on top of the very high mountain. Up and up and up he climbed. Finally, Papa got to the moon. My daughter Monica would like to play with you, said Papa, but you are much too big. Every night I get a little smaller, said the moon. When I'm just the right size, you can take me with you. And indeed, the moon got smaller and smaller and smaller. And when the moon was just the right size, Papa took it. Down, down, down he climbed. Here, said Papa to Monica, I have the moon for you. Monica jumped and danced with the moon, and she hugged the moon, and she threw it into the air. But the moon kept getting smaller and smaller and smaller, and finally it disappeared altogether. Then one night Monica saw a thin sliver of the moon reappear. And each night the moon grew and grew and grew. Now when I use this book with my students, we rewrite the story and we talk about the moon phases. Now one of my all-time very favorite birthday presents, Call Me Science Geek, was when I got this model of the moon. And this allows us to see the moon doesn't change size. It stays the same, but we can model the moon phases. So this is a waxing crescent, a bigger waxing crescent, and you remember that from the book. This is first quarter. Then we turn into a waxing gibbous, another waxing gibbous, until finally the moon is full. Then the phases turn into a 
waning gibbous. Waning means getting smaller. Another waning gibbous. Third quarter, a waning crescent, a waning crescent. And remember the moon kept getting smaller in the book until it disappeared and that would be new moon. I hope you enjoyed this Miller and Moment of Science. Have a great day, Cardinals. Can I just say that I am over the moon for Mrs. Milliron. What a fantastic job. Thank you so much for sharing, Mrs. Milliron. All right, that does it for today's episode, everybody. Please remember to stay safe, stay sanitized, and stay smart. Mr. Foster's Quarantine Corner.